Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at how to enable easy mode on your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now if this happens to be your first entry into the smartphone world, you might find it a little cumbersome to get around your device. And that's where easy mode comes in. So enter into the settings, go into your display, and then come down until you see easy mode. It's about halfway down the screen. Tap on it. We're going to see an option here to tap on easy mode. It's going to kind of give us a user interface here, an example right down there below. And here we can see that it's going to use a simple home screen layout and a bigger on screen items. Any customizations that we have made to the home screen will be discarded and the screen zoom will be set to maximum. So now we're going to go ahead and tap apply, give it just a second to adjust. You're going to notice our settings is now a large settings app. So everything on the screen is now giant to kind of give us an easier view of our display. So now if I tap on my home button, come out to my home screen, you're going to notice it's very similar to what we had in the beginning. Everything just seems a little bit bigger. We have big internet icons, big camera icons, big icons for phone and messages. Swiping over to the right, there's a few more applications that we might use. If we swipe over to the left, we can actually quickly add contacts to our home page just by tapping in there. So if I actually tap on an empty area, it's going to allow me to add a favorite contact. I can either create an existing contact or add a new one. I'm going to go ahead and add a new one. Now you notice I've added my wife up there in the top left hand corner. So now that I have her added out there, if I just tap on it, I'm actually going to be able to quickly call or text message her directly from within this icon. And if I swipe over to the left one more time, I still have access to Bigsby. So that's nice to know. And there are bigger cards here. Everything is a lot larger and easier for me to read. Swipe over to the right, we come back into my contacts, and then here are all my home screen pages. You'll also notice it has given us a button for the app drawer and all the icons in the app drawer are a lot larger as well. I still have access to swipe up and down to get in and out of the app drawer, but it's nice having that button back, especially if this is your first smartphone. It is nice to kind of have everything laid out to you very plainly so that way you can get in there and out of there very quickly. And to access the settings, we can either come over to the settings icon or we can even still swipe down and access the settings via that way. Now, if you're done with easy mode and you feel like you're ready to tackle handling the phone the way it was supposed to be, you can come into your display, come down into easy mode again, and go ahead and just toggle standard mode and then hit apply. And it brings us back into the standard mode of the phone. Everything's kind of shrunk down a little bit and our home screen is now back to the way it was when we first had our device. So easy mode could be useful. Let us know in the comment section below if you plan on using it or if you plan on giving your device to a family member and enabling it for them. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech. Give us a thumbs up to let us know you like this video, and we'll see you in the next one.